The first time we see Kane, we already know what happened. Monet and got smoked all because of Kane. Now, the family members, they aren't saying anything because they're in the process of grieving. But you know how it is. You know how it is. You look at your sibling like, dog, you fucked up this time. But the police are asking questions. We know Diana ain't saying ish. Diana ain't saying a word. Ain't no peep. Kane like, man, do your job, man. I don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. Stop asking us questions. Get out there. Do your investigative work. You mother, ooh, you, y'all, ooh, y'all gonna pay? Keep asking these dumbass questions. Like, do you know Mo? Is he really a thug? But no one knows what's really going on. Well, they know what's going on, but the police, they just trying to figure it out. So the family, they get to their house, and that's when that drama is really kicking off. And we start to realize that the whole family is turning on each other. Kane is blaming it on Drew and Diana. Drew and Diana blaming it on Kane because he married Noma. Drew was like, it's on you, it's on you, it's on you, it's on you. Ooh, it's on you. So Drew powering up on Kane. Diana telling her, hey, man, we can't make the, let them make our decisions for us. We got to stand on business. What will Monet do? WWMD. And Kane is like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's squash it, man. I'm the older brother. I'm going to be the bigger man and walk away from this situation, Drew. But listen, we got to get our shit together, man. There's no way we can let this just slide and let Noma get out here and pull the okie doke on us because we do the okie dokie. We don't get hit with the okie doke. We do the okie dokie. So the, the family, the trio, they all like, all right, cool, 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 cool. Let's get on the same page. Let's make sure, <laughs> let's make sure we don't have any incidents at this dinner table. And everybody specifically looks at Diana. So the next day, we see Kane going into Monet's room. Now, remember, Monet had kicked Kane out in season one. Monet was treating Kane like a piece of ish, if we're being honest. But Kane eventually bossed up. He went out on his own, moved back in, got kicked out again, got with Noma, got away from Noma. And he's just reminiscing everything that Monet did. Even though all of us, we love our mothers. Hopefully, we all love our mothers in here. Put a seven in the chat if you love your mother. But we all love our mothers, even though our mother may have whooped our butts when we were little because we needed the discipline. We may have got slapped one time because we needed the discipline. We may have got slapped one time just because our parents were frustrated. But we still, as adults, we look back and we say, they didn't mean no harm. They still loved us. And Kane is looking at it like, the last time I spoke to my mom, she was giving me my props saying, Kane. You didn't bossed up. You didn't did your thing. You stepped up for the family. So he's in here crying, smelling the perfume. Oh, I miss Monet so much. I've never missed Monet this much. Oh, man, am I turning into a bitch-ass nigga? Man, I miss my mama. And man, I miss my dog. But out of nowhere, Diana coming here. Kane, we need to go ahead and meet up with our cousin. We need to meet up with our cousin. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, Bronze and them, they ready to go. So Kane is looking at it like, damn, all right. We about to get on this good foot then. We're going to have to make it happen some way, somehow. So, well, they get up. <laughs> Miss T said crying over earrings. Hey, man, Kane, Kane one, man, man, them hoops, man, them hoops meant something. So the Tejadas, they pack it on up. You know what I mean? They pack it on up. They sliding, too. They kicking in the door. Ping, 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 ping. Ping, ping, ping. That's the sign of the silencer. Ping, 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 ping. Bronze is in here. Ping, ping, ping. Kane coming here. Ping, ping, ping. Drew coming here. Ping, ping, ping. Diana coming here. Ping, ping, ping. Bodies are dropping everywhere. And once they make it through the house, everyone's looking around like, what the fuck we about to do? They looking at Kane. Kane got the Thule drawn on Anya. Now, at this point, Anya is the ops. Anybody that rolls with Noma, smells like Noma, looks like Noma, lives with Noma, O-P-S. Ops. Ops. Say it with me, y'all. Say it with me. Ops. Anybody that rolls with Noma, 
eats with Noma, wears clothes bought by Noma, smells like Noma. Cause you know when you go in everybody's house, everybody's house got a distinctive smell. My hair, my 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 house smell like air. You know what I mean? Cause I aired it bit out. But they looking at Anya and Anya like, wait, don't 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 shut. Don't shut. Kane's like, <laughs> don't give me this Thule. Don't give me this Thule. Kane wanted to. Ooh. Ooh, where, where no man? Where's no man? you like, I don't know. I probably, I don't know, Kane. And Kane, like, yeah, you remember you was you was flirting with me the other day? You should have hollered at me. You wouldn't be in this predicament. I'm sorry, Kane. I was flirting with you, but I just didn't know how to flirt unless I was on that cocaine. Kane says, "Shut up. You're the ops." Diana's like, yeah, Kane, shut her up, Kane. She was talking that shit at the table, talking about I'm the help. So Kane was like, Dad, see, you wasn't feeling the nigga the other day. You see what I'm saying? You turned the nigga down. You popped the balloon. Boop, boop. I'm about to pop your balloon. Boop, 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 boop. I'm about to boop, 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 boop. I'm about to boop, 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 boop. You lucky we need you to find out where Noma is. So Kane had to restrain himself because he was about to ping, ping, ping. But he said, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. You know, feel me? So Kane, he he held it back. He like, oh, fuck that. So they kidnap Anya from there. They kidnap Anya. <laughs> they got Anya locked up, right? So they got Anya locked up, and they like, <laughs> Kane crying still over Noma, I mean, over Monet. You know he's still kind of hurt because uh, Noma left him. So he's like, man, fuck all that, man. What we going to do with Anya, man? How we going to get loose? They're like, man, Tariq said, man, look, 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 let me come up with a plan. Okay, what's the plan? Look, I'm going to go save Anya. You chase after me. Kane's like, so what you want me to do? Like, just chase that? That's just whack. I'm going to chase after you and shoot. Tariq was like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We can make it believable if you just chase me. Kane said, no, nah, nigga, I'm going to shoot. I'm not going to shoot you, Tariq. I'm not, hey, Tariq, I'm not going to shoot you, bro. You get on you, and I'm just going to fire off some shots, all right? I'm not going to, Tariq, do, are we going to do this plan or not? I've told you I'm not going to shoot you, bro. Just fucking listen to me, all right? I'm just going to fire off a couple shots and make it seem believable, okay? Tariq is like, man, I don't know about that one. He's like, Tariq, shut the fuck up. So Tariq goes and gets Anya out the back, and Kane's like, all right, cool. Kane come outside. He wanted to he wanted to shoot Tariq and Anya. Anthony, that's what I'm saying. Tariq was like, wait a minute, Kane. You gonna shoot? No, 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 no. Just chase after us. Hey, get back here, Tariq. He said, No, nah, nigga, I want to shoot. I want to let off a couple shots. He's like, Man, fuck, dude. Fuck. So they ended up dipping out. Now we know what happens after this. When they pull up on Anya and them, Diana is with, with Kane. Now, when they show up, they only supposed to find out where damn Noma is at. So when they get there, they get there. Tariq's sitting in the car. He's talking to Anya. And, well, Diana gets out the car and runs up to the gate and just gets the bucking, man. Like, what the hell is going on between the sheets of Ben home? Boy, let me explain before you start to point your okay? game. Oh, it's about to be some shit. Kane said, how did I get into this? I should have left Diana home at that bitch. Diana, you low down dirty woman. How'd you shoot Anya? Kane, wait, I had to shoot. She deserved that shit because no one's a uh, piece of shit. <laughs> so Diana hop out. Pop, 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 pop. No silencer, just bucking. Tariq is looking. Kane is like, what the fuck? Kane jumping in place. God damn it, Diana. Because now they got to get on the run. The whole element of surprise is out the window. Tariq and Kane, even though they hate each other, they came up with a plan that actually worked. And Diana, fucking Monet Jr., fucked the plan up. There's no excuse for it. The plan is over with. <laughs> so everybody's dipping out. They trying to run now. Kane and them, they end up going back to the warehouse and they trying to figure it out. Kane actually... Is talking to Effie. Like Kane walks off because he's still hurting. Effie's talking about. 
Well, Cain, uh, I know, I know it hurts, but you're gonna be all right. You're gonna, you're gonna pull through this. Cain is like, man, I'm trying to kill this motherfucking Noma, man. I'm not really thinking about you right now, Effie. My Effie, give me some space. The love of my life's daughter has just been shot. She's Louise. Don't hey, don't y'all hate when your side chick is asking you all kinds of wild ass questions? Like you the side chick, you can't ask me questions about my mama. You can't ask me questions about how am I feeling? Get my wife's daughter just was shot by my sister, Effie. I don't want to be disrespectful, but shut the fuck up, please. The love of my life, I'm at war with her, okay? My wife. I don't know about you, but I take my vows serious. Death do us part, okay? Effie over here just questioning. Oh, Kane, is everything all right? God. Damn. Shut the fuck up. Why are you talking to me? Sometimes you gotta tell your side chick, shut the fuck up. Okay. Shut up, Effie. Shut up. So Effie just wants to know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Diana tried to shoot, uh, well, she said she was trying to get even with Noma, but I don't know if she was really targeting Anya. I guess so, but it's like, man, you should have just shot Noma. We could have been done with it. Nah, everybody needs a side chick. I remember there, there's a song. Uh, there's a song that said, everybody plays a fool sometimes. Yeah, everybody plays a fool sometimes. Well, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. <laughs> so from here the Tahadas go back to the house all right what's the plan what's the plan and kane out of nowhere he's like all right man we're gonna stop all the bs man because we're gonna finish this story up with kane because i do gotta make some moves kane's like listen yeah we want to get no one but let's draw her to us this is what we're gonna do there's a thing called a flight plan do any of you guys know what a flight plan is that means when you take a flight, you got to have a plan. That means anybody that's getting on it, we need to plan that we have accommodations for each individual character. That means each individual getting on this flight because it's a flight plan. We got to make sure there's a plan for them to have a life vest. We got to make sure that there's a plan for them to have an oxygen mask. We got to make sure that there's a plan for them to have a seat belt. We got to make sure that there's a plan for them to have a smoke detector because there's no smoking on an aviation plane. Ever since Bin Laden messed it up for everybody, you used to be able to smoke cigarettes on the plane. I remember I was three years old smoking a cigarette on the plane, but now you can't even do it. But yeah, we got to make a flight plan. So Kane is saying anytime that a flight is booked, anytime that a flight is booked, it goes directly to Noma's phone. Yeah, that iPhone on the iCloud. She know about it. So they're like, oh, shit, we never flown a plane before, Kane. We never knew about that. So what they do is they book a plane, Jet Pal, Noma. <clears throat> if if I can imagine the, uh, the phone reading this off, <clears throat> message from Jet Pal. Now, Noma, your jet has been booked for a 10 p.m. departure. Click the app for details. So boom, she's like, hey, y'all, they got a flight. So Kane actually books a flight, NYC to ATL, three passengers. Jet Pal confirming flight. Flight KT-739, booking details. NYC to ATL, departure time, 10 o'clock p.m. Passengers, three, contact info. So Noma's like, oh, they booking a flight to ATL, so we know where Kane's going to be on the run. Now... When they get to the hangar, this is the wrong time for them to start reminiscing about Monet. Man, you know, my favorite time with Monet is uh, when she was telling me to shut up. <laughs> so tears turning, uh, cheers turning to tears. They all talking about 
how it was a good time with Monet. They supposed to be getting focused. Like, you know, when you go to a basketball game, well, I play football. I mean, I play organized basketball. I play with a team called the Celtics. And I want to say 98, we ended up winning the championship. I was a little short, fat kid. I was trash as hell, but we won a championship. I was more of a football player. I think I averaged maybe like 1.9 points, three rebounds, four fouls. Yeah, I fouled the hell out of you when I was a little dude. But there was no laughing in warm-ups. This is a warm-up situation here. And Kane and them joking around, reminiscing, laughing. Oh, we miss Monet. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. But the police end up showing up. So it just rained on their parade, literally, because it's raining outside. What's up, Miss Jalen? So they sitting down and we hear Kane talking about crashing out. All right, man, I love y'all. But just know, if anything happens, I love y'all, but don't be silly. So we find out that Noma is actually a rat. She didn't showed up with the NYPD's finest. Well, I won't say they're the finest. Probably like the mid-tier because these niggas are trash. But Noma's looking and everyone's getting arrested. Kane shows up. Hey, baby. We ain't never get that last dance. He got that too late. I'm the last nigga you're going to see. <laughs> so he didn't changed up on Noma. And Noma's sitting there like, Kane, what are you doing? Kane, it's me, baby. It's your wife. Kane, don't lose it. Kane, what's wrong with you? He's like, oh, no. Now you want to be my wife. But just yesterday, you were telling me it's either them or me. And I told you, I got everything. My mama, you took it from me. <laughs> No one was like, you don't have to do this. Kane said, I do got a bomb. He didn't even give her an explanation. Blew her muffin cap back blue. Later down. But then the police get the bucket at this nigga came. Bow, bow. Oh, pull off, pull off. Oh, what song is that from? They start tearing Kane ass up. Pause. Bow, 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 bow. He get hit in the shoulder. Bow. He get hit in the side. Oh, shit. This motherfucker hot as hell. Nigga, they didn't tell me bullets felt like this. Kane get hit. He dip out. He fall on the ground and roll over. The police are using this nigga Drew as a human shield. Look at this. I've never seen police officers do this, but trust me, if I was a police officer, I definitely would. Body cam would be straight back. Damn, what happened to your body cam, Mo? Oh, I don't even know, man. They were shooting out. I fell to the ground. Someone else's body cam would see me using the goddamn Drew or Diana as a human shield. Like, damn, this nigga shooting for real. But, 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 Nobody knows what's going on. Boop, 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 boop. Ain't no silences on this motherfucker. Boop, 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 boop. We like, oh shit, they done killed this nigga Kane. But it turned out, Hurricane, all he left was a trail of blood. And the police didn't even do, the police didn't even do a proper investigation. They just said, there's the blood, man. It's a video game. You know, in a video game, when you unalive a character, they eventually disappear. That's what the cops said. They said, well, there goes some blood, but his body ain't here. He must have disappeared. Fuck it. Let him go. Let him go. Let him... Damn, look at... Who's informant was Mon... Uh, who... Hold on, Monet is the motherfucker that died this morning. Wait. Is this Monet or Noma? Which one is this? Oh, Monet died this. Oh, shit. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was drinking on the job. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was drunk as a motherfucker. We went to that wedding thing. Man, let me tell you, I came up out of there with a couple of gifts. Nigga, I was so goddamn drunk. They had a bottle of, man, they had two bottles of Ace of Spades. Nigga, you know I took them motherfuckers. Both of them bitches sitting at the house right now. Nigga, whose informant was Noma's? Mine. Wait a minute. Oh, that's what they were calling me into the office this morning for? I knew it was so... Oh, shit. I thought it was for the body. They were assigning Noma to me, and now she did. The fuck, man? Why ain't nobody warned me? Man, y'all knew I was drinking. Why y'all ain't stopped me from drinking? I said I was going to shoot y'all if, if y'all did. Nigga, you knew I was... Why I ain't going to shoot y'all? I didn't even fire off a shot tonight. I had this nigga Drew as a shield, man. No, no shit. We got this goddamn recorder. God, Y'all niggas is trying to screw me over, man. Y'all trying to Don Carter me? What the fuck is going on, man? 
fuck, I got it. Oh, shit. Can we turn? Damn, we can't turn these motherfuckers off. All right, I'm gonna go find this nigga. I gotta find this nigga Kane so I can be like, man, no, nah, Kane was shooting, man. It, it, I, I was just talking shit, man. I was discombobulated. PTSD, man. Fuck. Uh, why did they assign this man? Who assigned this motherfucker to me, man? I didn't even know they was assigning out goddamn star witnesses, man. Why was she even out here with us? Fuck. And just like that, a nigga could lose his job. <laughs> Damn, man. So Kane ends up getting away. And then the next morning. <laughs> <coughs> Hello? Kane, are you all right? The doctor stitched you up. He's like, <coughs> yeah, I'm all right. Kane, you can't be here. What do you mean I can't be here? The whole NYPD is looking for you, man. Fuck the police. Kane, you got to leave. He's like, fuck it. I'll just leave there. And then out of nowhere, then out of nowhere, this is when I realized a side chick is probably one of the most valuable women you can have in your life. I may have talked all that shit earlier, but man, when you got when you got immense pressure on you and you're trying to figure out what's your next move, how are you going to survive, you might say some shit you don't actually mean. So. Everything that Kane said to, to Effie earlier about being a side chick and shutting the fuck up. Sometimes you, you might say stuff that you don't actually mean, you know, and, 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 and you got to you, you got to retract that. You got to you got to you got to take that back. That's on me, man. I apologize. Fuck what I said. It don't mean shit now. And Effie offers him all the money she got. So now I'm looking at it like. A side chick. Is better than the main chick. See, when you down and out, when you down and out, you lose your job. When, when, when you got your main lady at home and you lose your job, you get laid off or you do something mess up. You might not come home like two or three nights. Who leaves you? Your main chick. Who divorces you? Your main chick. But guess who's going to be there? Your side chick. Your side chick is going to be there because she knows you dealing with a lot of stress and drama at the house. So what did Effie do? She looked out for Kane and gave him that bag. And now we see why a side chick is so essential for every man to have at least 17 of them minimum. You got to have when, when, when the going get tough, the side chick get the going. And Effie said, huh, I bought a doctor over for you. I got a bag for you. I'm doing this for you, Kane. Stay up, Kane. Go nine. Stay up, Kane. Go nine. Kane said, I can't take that money. She said, Kane, you got to take the money. I ain't never had nobody to show me all the thing that you can show me. That's how she looking at it. That's what a side chick going to do for you. A side chick going to hold you down. Someone tell me right now, where's Noma at? Where's Noma at? Someone tell me where Noma at. Someone tell me where Noma is right now. Someone please, 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 please. Well, I got this in my beard, you see? See, if I had a side chick, my side chick would have let me know, and I got I got lint in my beard. Where, where's, where's Noma at right now? What up, teddy bear? Noma is gone. They said no man hell. So see, a main chick may leave your side. A main chick may scold you, but a side chick, the only thing a side chick can do is expose a nigga. But other than that, a side chick gonna hold you down. When I'm hungry at work, I gotta call up the side chick. Main chick, I'm at work, Mo. I can't take off. Well, I ain't asked you to take off. I said, bring me some lunch. I ain't doing it, nigga. Well, all right then. Now, if I hit my side chick up, my unemployed bae, what you doing, bae? I'm in the bed being a lazy piece of shit, Mo. Mm, mm, that sounds sexy as hell. Hey, can you go and pick me up some food and then bring it to the job? I don't know, Mo. Last time I did that, I ain't get nothing in return. I got you this time, baby. It's me. 
It's me. Okay, Mo, I'm going to pull up. You going to pull up on your boy? I'm going to pull up. You going to bring that bag with you? I ain't got the bag, but I'm going to pull up. Oh, that's all that matters. Real love. I'm searching for that real love. The love side chick can give you your man. Can't that real love? Oh, I'm searching for that side chick love. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Effie pulled up with the bag. What did Noma say? You could have had it all. Kane had to jump through hoops with his main chick to have it all. Effie said, you can have it all. All I need is a forehead kiss. Baby girl, I trade it all. Money and cars and everything. Oh, even give up the pinky ring. Oh. Yeah. We or well, we can't sing that because Diddy was on there. Damn. Diddy didn't ruin all the good songs. Diddy didn't fucked up all the good songs. Well, that's the last we see of Kane, man. Game over, man. Game over, man. We're going to end this here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sometimes, sometimes you need your real one in the corner, man. And Kane held it down for Effie. We clowned him. But look, in return, she held it down for him. Now, this was the finale. Uh, I, I Like I said, I got to make some moves. I'm going to do a live for sure. Uh, Sunday, we're going to probably, we'll probably do a live Sunday just to like tie things up, go a little more in depth. Then we got Monday mistakes and it will be going on a, a break from power at least sundays the penguin drops on monday starting next week we'll have uh the penguin live shows um tomorrow afternoon i'm gonna try to do something because i'm not going anywhere next weekend i'll be in london so if you're in london and you run into me you know what i'm saying just be like hey what up mo and i'm like who are you you like man i'm a moet and i'm like oh okay cool and then i'm gonna sing a tune the tune when you meet me if you if you if you see me out and about, the tune we singing is a heart is a house for love. And I've learned and I've learned that it don't take much to break a heart. And this is where you, this is where you come in. Ooh, ooh, don't give up, don't give up. So I'm going to sing two wrong, don't make a rhyme. And you're going to say, do, 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 do. and then I'm going to go buy a drink. You know what I'm saying? If you see me out in London, drinks is on your boy. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is the finale. I thought it was going to be a big, I got fires. I, I, I got fireworks outside. I was going to fire off some fireworks and everything, man. But Man, y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got four hours tonight. Uh, I'm going to try to join Brillo's live also. So make sure you tune in.